Well, I don't see the point in waiting any longer. So let's bring her out. The star attraction, the one you came to see. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Miss Judy Gold. Okay, so then you, all right, so, but, all right, because my trajectory was so much different. But you, you had a lot of confidence, and you knew Chris, and and you just, I because I remember when Tony came on the scene, and I was like, wait, he has a brother who's funny, too, because it's usually, you know, it's yeah. just the way in the brothers. <coughs> Um, did you get work right away? No, we did every bring a show. We did every open mic. I mean, every day. I did so Henrietta Pete, Hudson's the lesbian bar. You did. I love all the time. That Big just shout gets out to it for being lesbian. Love it. Love that place. And I'm, tell, I'm telling you, if you walk in there with a penis, usually they're like, "Nope." Yeah. And I used to go there every week. Right. And kill it. They. Used I love that room. Okay. It was honest. I know. Mm. Did you I did the to... laundromat. It was actual laundromat. The Joe uh, mm. Jody Wasserman's room. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. We did that fuck, called the spin cycle when niggas right. in there folding their socks and we in there telling jokes. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> and, and that got so popular, the bodega next door let us move it over there right, on some days. Right, right, right. Next to the potato chips. <laughs> 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 Had a microphone next to the bontons. I it. love that. <laughs> That's great. That's how hungry we were for it, and so, I did that every day. <laughs> yeah, I went out. I went out every fucking day too. Yeah. I mean, you have to really want to do it. And I started uh, that in like July and then I got into the cellar that January. Uh, what year was the cellar that you got in? I think it's like 99. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you're in. Yeah. I first, that first week she gave me nine spots. No fucking way. Yeah. SD? Yeah. Have you ever gotten nine spots again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How come I never fucking get nine spots? Yeah. Noam told me a few years ago that uh, for like the last decade, I was making 25 grand, <laughs> something like that. No way. At the cellar. And he's like, you're making the most money here for the last day. I was like, you know how much spots I got to do <laughs> for $25 to make 25 grand here? Wow. A billion. A wow. And that's for a decade. I don't wonder why she loves you so much. You still, <laughs> I mean, it's it's a it's hot and cold sometimes. I know. Estee's a very complicated it's human being. <laughs> She's like, um, what is that but commercial with her. the Sour Patch Kids? Where oh yeah, sour and sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all first they're mean to you, and then they give you a hug and a kiss. <laughs> For the audience, Estee runs the Comedy Cellar, yes, and the Village Underground, yeah, and the big black fat pussy cat, yeah, and Cafe Wa. Yeah, she's like not I am Monopoly well, the man. Well, comedy wall, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I used to do uh, New Year's Eve at Cafe Wa. Me too. I, used to I do love the that. A lot. Me too. That room I was great. I love the Wa. Yeah, they was... don't do stand up there anymore. Do they not? They they, they stopped it all. I don't know. I haven't been there. In a while. I haven't been in a while either. I know I stopped doing it there a few years right. ago. But I used to love that room. When that room was right, that room was right. I know. Oh, or it could suck. Now yeah. um, it could be tight. Right. So then, all right. So you're doing. You're in the cellar. Are did did you have to work another job? No, because of the is it? Plus, of I had uh, had some I had TV shit too and commercial. Like shit. what'd you have? I landed a commercial before I even got paid for comedy. What? Uh, yeah. What commercial? And that was from doing a bringer show, Jeannie and Marielle's bringer show at the comic strip. Right. This uh, is how I try to tell everyone that we never sent in tapes. Yeah. You know, you went someplace and someone saw you and yep. you'd get a fucking job. Somebody what from Paradigm, tapes? somebody from Paradigm right. saw me at the Bringer show, like right. a 6 p.m. show or whatever, and said, I'll, you need to come in and I'll oh, see wait, you out. Oh, do, wait, does everyone know what a Bringer show is? That's when you have to bring, bring a certain people, amount of four people. Four or five people to get four or five minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. to get it, to get on stage. We right. should so have a comedy ridiculous. vocabulary test at yeah, the end of each show. Yeah, I know, okay. A glossary. Yeah. Yeah. But, so um, go ahead. He, then he said, uh, I'll send you out free st uh, freelance through Paradigm. And I was like, right. that? Who I was it? Like, I forget the guy's name. Okay, go ahead. I forget his name. He's an agent. Say Dave so. something, yeah. He was an agent. And then All I right. went out on a, a big commercial for like Southwest Airlines. Right. I remember seeing Godfrey and everybody there. Right. It was packed. And um and I booked it. <laughs> really? <laughs> and I booked because that because you didn't care because and you the, didn't know anything. Because yeah, I thought, I, plus I, I went in, th I, I saw what the commercial was about. Right. It was about us being whoever the lead was going to be on a stage finishing a song. Right. Finishing a song, a rock band, and you're going to say thank you, Detroit, and they're going to be like Detroit was last night, and you might like, want to get away. Right. But everybody who was going to audition, I'm seeing them rehearsing songs. It's like right. nigga, they're not looking for musicians, or they would have brought in a musician. Right. They're looking for us to end the song. Right. So everybody going in there singing the big songs of the day and singing right. singing their heart out. I went in there and sung uh, Happy Birthday, Mr. President. 
No way. Yeah, like fucking, uh, yeah, like and Marilyn Monroe. You, and then how'd you do it? Because the I end? knew the song was, it wasn't right. about that. So they right. saw that I got it. Right. Mm-hmm. And boom. Wait, do it. Do it for us. I'm just like, happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Detroit. We love you. <laughs> And I just, I just ended it, up, and it was and like, then, now you get it. Everybody else in there trying to sing top forty, right? It's like, so no, wait nigga. a minute. <laughs> so what did you? Did it play a lot? A lot. It yeah, got me I into it. SAG. It got me into this union. Really? I it gotta got me look dental. it up. It got me my first apartment. It paid me every thirteen weeks, and it rebooked the uh, every year. They doubled it. So after the first year, they doubled. Then the second year, they doubled the double. Then at the at third year, they doubled the double double. And I was the principal, so I got to say yes or no to continuing it. And I always said yes. So every 13 wow. weeks I got checks. And that fucking set me, that really kept me in comedy. All you need is one fucking great commercial. One national and you good. Like diarrhea on the IBS commercial is fucking loaded. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. yeah. Hey now. I remember yeah. Judah, even Judah Freelander. When I used to go to Europe, I see big posters of Judah and some soccer shit. Really? He making like $3 million. People don't even know about it. Right. <laughs> some commercial shit. Right, yeah. right, right. I had so many commercials since then. It's like, it's better than drug money. Yeah. I know. Oh, fuck. I never get commercials. All right. Damn, I got to get so, out of the drug business. Voice right. mo- voiceovers, too. Voiceover and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. But you got voiceovers, they only give to the same people over and over again. It is a small little uh, right. fraternity, but you can squeeze your way in there. Yeah, I've been trying, bitch. <laughs> All right. So, uh, y- so you start doing this commercial, and then when did you start getting... TV or did you go on the road at all? Like, yeah, have you had to go stuff. on the road? Not like that. No, I know you're so fucking ugly. lucky. I hate it. I go out there and do a show, and then come back. I don't like to try to stay out there. I know for four or five for awful money. Yeah, but I hate I, it. I, I, luckily, I got to do V. I got VH1 shit. I got right. a lot of local TV stuff. Right, and then from there, you know, I just started getting more shit. Best like at the VH1, we did our best we ever tour right. and shit like that. Then the clubs know who right. you are. Then they'll bring right. you out. And but then yeah. you're only one night in a club. Uh, or sometimes two nights. weekends. I do yeah, weekends, yeah. yeah. I do the weekend. I can't, I can't take these week-long things. It, no, a week-long. Like, if you got to do a Thursday to Sunday, it's yeah. like, good God almighty, please. I know. Kill me. Please. That's kill me fucking now. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so then who were your, like, good comedy friends when you... Yep, I know well, Tony. Well, me and Rachel lived together for nine years. Rachel Feinstein is my you sister. Di- no way. Yeah, we lived together on 75th Street. You for did nine that. Years. You were fucking roommates. Yes. Not fucking. Not roommates. fucking. But yeah. Right. Rachel, I say to this day, was the best wingman I've had in my life. Really? Ah, uh, I would bring confused girls back to the apartment. And they'd be like, "This, she's alive. <laughs> right. No reason why should I, I should I? Right. I shouldn't die if I, she's alive." So so. How did you meet Rachel? Uh, we met on our first day at Gotham Comedy Club. Maybe our second day doing comedy. Right. And then um, we just bonded. That first day, we talked on the phone. We stayed out the late. What did you think you were? Did you think he you were gonna fuck her? No, or? not at all. It oh, was right. never on a fuck thing with me right. and Rage. It was just a fucking. We just bonded, and I felt protective over her for those reasons. Me and right. Tony, and that's uh, cool. And that Ra- night we talked all night, and from like six months, so we moved into each other, with each other. We talked on the phone every night. That's wow. really nice. And then even when we moved in each other, nigga, we'd be on the same bed, sleeping, eating bagels. Right. You were bro that's bros. That's my sister. Yeah. Yeah. To this day. Oh, my God. We call it the dynasty. Me, her, Tone, and Steve Donovan, who's my boy, too, started out with us. Right. Who's doing our morning radio up in uh, nice. Mass. Wow. I had no idea. Yeah. Were you good roommates? Great. We were a mess. We lived in squalor. We wrote a, we writing like a thing about it, like a That's a treatment about it. Now, did awesome. you ever have sex? No, but I had sex with so many of her friends. Really? <laughs> like who? I can't name the Come friends. On! They, know who, they know who they are. They were great. <laughs> she couldn't bring. We didn't let. I didn't let her bring boys in the apartment. Like guys, she could not bring guys right. up in there. Ain't gonna have no guy in here fucking my roommate. Wow, that seems kiss on a stoop, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that, that seems like a double standard. It was Wait, definitely a double standard. But her parents <laughs> loved it. Now, Hurricane Howie and I know her parents. I know her brothers. I know they kids. Hurricane wow. Howie. Hurricane is that her Howie? brother? No, that's how her father is actually a, a musician, a jazz musician, oh, right. and an attorney. Right. Shout yeah. out, Hurricane. Yeah, we like to do the um, safety thing, like the attorney thing, but yeah. yeah. And her mother's an educator too. That's what right. we bonded over too, because her mother's a teacher like right. my mother. So. Okay. So. That's cool. And my mother loved Rachel. My really. Sisters love Rachel. Love. Aww. Love her. I love her too. Yeah. Uh, so, who were who were your like? clicky friends i mean everybody me and tone came in together so we were right. a built-in crew 
But then, like, uh, as far as, like, comedy, uh, everybody who was down at the cellar when we were down there, we, you know, from Brian Scalero to Godfrey to Artie, right. Artie Fuqua. I mean, I, right. I've been with these guys more than I've been with my family. Artie. Yeah. I love Artie. Artie's great. He's the nicest guy. He's doing my show on uh, October 30th. Oh, good. That, thanks for inviting night. me. Hell night. I just feel bad that he lost a child. Yeah. And then have to be reminded of it a year later because he had amnesia and thought his kid was coming to visit him in the hospital. No know. way. Yes. Yeah. What happened? After the after, Walmart accident, which yeah. was like a year after his son died, Artie didn't have his memory. So right. he was in a hospital waiting for his son to come visit him because he thought his son was still alive. God damn so he it. had to be reminded that his son was dead. What? No way. Yes way. Why doesn't he want to do your show, Judy? Yes way. Who, Artie? Yeah. He'll do my show. Well. Yeah. I love that we guy. We keep emailing love him. him. Love him to death. Yeah, but you know. You, I, you have not emailed him. Yeah, we have. Okay, I have to ask. No one answers you. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's that makes brutal. me so, so to, sad. You have to go through it twice. No, I. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I can't. Brutal. That that is the worst. Wow. And he he just died suddenly. Yeah, and uh, like playing basketball, got elbowed in the head or some shit. It's fucking oh, awful. Argument. Yeah. I don't Damn. know. Oh, I can't. It's okay. brutal to lose a kid, you know. It's just, yeah, forget nobody it. Nobody wants to do that. I know, and he's the nicest guy in the whole fucking world. Nicest guy, and he's gonna be on a Hell Night show where we talk about near death experience on a uh, on October really? 3rd. That's the whole show. Me, Sounds him, T.J. Miller, David Tell, Artie Lang, Artie Fuqua, Keith Robinson. Everybody that's great because you know what's great? There's no women on that show. Yeah, that's even better. <laughs> women are more Fuck careful because women don't almost die all the time. <laughs> That's not true. You're about to die, almost die right now. You raise your voice again. That's right, bitches. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting sexy um, in here right now. So, do you feel lucky? I mean, you're pretty lucky. Yeah. That you... Well, it's blessed. Lucky's for the wicked. Right. Okay. So, you have this... Wait, I just have to look at my notes. Um, you were... I remember when we were doing Opie, and you were doing the show with Chris, Christian Finnegan. Oh, Black yeah, Black and White. And White, yes. And then... Love that show. It sounded fucking... There was a few episodes. We did eight episodes, eight. Uh, right, and they were funny, yes. and then they canceled it. Because, first of all, for A&E, it was the first studio anything. Right. So we knew we was going out on a limb for it. Right. But I'm just happy that the product that we put together, right. it was solid, and it was fucking hilarious. Right. Now, the one... I remember one of... Comics and cars. Oh yeah, and yours was black comics and cars, and they kept getting, getting pulled, pulled over. over. Yeah, like after the, that's so fucking hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. I had Greer Barnes in that uh, in that sketch. Oh Greer, I love him too. Yeah, Greer's the best. Too. Um, okay, but and we, then, you know, Race Wars. We were working on a the, uh, Race Wars TV version of right. that show, and we got step two in Montreal about. So we'll see how that. Turns and what out. is so Race Wars is about? Well, it's me and Kurt Metzger. Right. Yeah, it's just a comedy podcast. Right, where yeah. you talk about... We talk about everything. We named it Race to keep you know sensitive people away from it. So Race Wars, you can't listen to a show called Race Wars and say, right. can you believe what they said on here? Right. You look like a fucking idiot. I thought it was a running podcast. <laughs> now, <laughs> did you... Oh, <laughs> not funny. Oh, Patrick fucking laughed at that bullshit. <laughs> so, do you fi what do you feel like... I mean, I... I I, just, I know the experience of white male comics okay. like really well because I've seen I've and I've been, been in there, their I've, been in, I've been in this for so fucking long. <laughs> but, you know, the black male experience in comedy, uh -huh. is it, I, I just- We're the workhorses. Right. I you guys in are closing, so fucking- hosting, right. opening. I have to play all positions right, when I come in. Right. It wasn't like, hey, you can put them on third. Right. No. It's like, nigga, you can do everything or you can do nothing. Right. <laughs> That's pretty much what I feel like black comedians' experience right. is. We got to do it. We got to be able to do everything. Right. Definitely in what the quote unquote white clubs. Right. Yeah. And <laughs> most of the clubs at that time yeah. in the beginning yeah. were white. Right. You know, I mean, I remember I used to ask to MC on purpose. In the beginning, because I wanted to get as much stage time as possible, right, right. and you could isolate your bits yep. so they were strong enough in between the acts. You could say, "Oh, I'm going to do this joke and make it really strong." MCing is the best thing you do for right. writing, I think. Yeah. I think so too. Um, but there were so many white guys who were like, "Here's my joke and here's my punchline. I'm going to be a writer." Yeah, because they got different avenues and opportunities right. to go down. But at the same time, they were sharpening the women. And the black male comics to be better, to be better, and to well, they they didn't have to be past them. Yeah, and but then they take we over. always yeah. we had to we had to be the women had to be funnier too. Yeah, of course, like, no question. And, and it's like it's so not. And then I I you know this whole notion of 
you know, if there were three white guys on a show, yeah. it's a show. If there's three black guys on a show, it's urban right. night. Yeah. If there's three women on, show. you know, uh, on a show, it's, it's ladies mistake. night out. Oh. It's shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but do you guys help there's each other? There's a world war. <laughs> Ew, do you help each All other the men out? All fighting war. Yeah. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Do you? Um, yes, we can. Is her league on her own night? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Do you guys help each other out? Black, yeah, black comics? Yeah. Yeah, no question. All right. You have ahead. to. You got to, you know, extend it. Anybody who's being selfish, I think as a comic, no matter if you're black or white, eventually being one like this, he's selfish, so I ain't helping him out. Right. So you got to you gotta extend the Because uh, I've always been like, oh, yeah. it's, uh, there's room for everyone yep. and help, help each other out. Yes. But I've seen it mostly with, like Kevin James, without Ray Romano. Yeah. He... I don't right. know what he'd be doing. That's true. You know? I mean, Ray helped so many fucking white guys. Yeah. He, but he, Ray helped a lot of dudes that he, you know, he used to work with. Right. His boys. He was yeah. really, really great yeah. like, in that. Yeah. Um, Even his writers and all those yeah. guys. I know, like, you know, Roy. Guys, 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 guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I'm just waiting for guys, But it was guys, a guy. Guys, it was a guys. guy heavy time right, then, Right, 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 right. So I think from now, from the generation we're going through now, it's going to be, you know, a girl heavy, a, a woman heavier time. Right, but I'm going to be in a fucking nursing home but when it happens. But just be happy that you were but one of the people of it. who set down the road for him. Right. For these bitches to cruise. Right. right. And you're now you're in the cruising tapestry. and they have all the fucking money and I want a Netflix special. <laughs> you are so Judy Gold. You can't be more Judy than you. I understand what you're saying. I just want a fucking special. I just don't fucking get it. Yeah. It's like guys my age can get specials, not even a, It's like, no, she's not our demographic. How, what? There's no fucking demographic it's in zero. comedy. Yeah. You it's gotta, funny as yeah. funny. Just do it yourself, then. Yeah, Louis do it yourself. Fuck that's Netflix. Right. I need some cash a I had fucking kids. Yeah, that's true. What was that I, I, about? <laughs> you hit the Jew bell when you say you need I cash. I know. <laughs> cash. <laughs> um, that's anti Semitic. I didn't notice that. So, um, what, you are very attracted to Jewish women. Uh, I'm a very attracted to women. I know, but uh, I you, I've the most, the majority of girlfriends I've seen you with one. <laughs> and you love Elisa, my girlfriend. Yes, because she has a nice ass. She what are you nice doing? Tush. You're you're plugging my phone in. Oh, all right. But yeah, like women with nice tushes. Yeah. So you if like that's the a Jewish tush. woman? Then all right. Do you? Um, <laughs> did you ever have a? Did your mother ever meet your girlfriends? Yeah, all of them. And You're not my girlfriend unless my mother met you. I want to meet just your mother. Around. Yeah. Oh. I know. <laughs> I just wish she I met terrific. her. She was just smart as shit. Mathematician. Annoying. <laughs> Did she help you with no your work? Oh, yeah, yeah. How old was she when she passed away? She was 72. That's it? Yeah. 72. And did you... How long did she have cancer? Um... <laughs> Three years, maybe two years. Ugh. It was fast. I know that is fast. And did fast. you have you talked Which about? Which was a blessing too. Well, it's my. I had one go slowly and one drop dead. Right. I gotta say the dropping dead right. is very hard because you don't. I mean, he was swimming. You know, oh, like oh uh, yeah. that's yeah. awful. Yeah. But because you don't get a chance to say goodbye. Yeah, and, like, and yeah. they don't and they don't suffer. Right. You know, which is good. But what would you rather it, do on I, your way out? I want to drop dead. Right. Drop but I'd dead. like to know, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I kind of want to know two days before to say, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'll let you know. I think that I just want to drop dead. On, I, but I want to make sure I have a really good set before. Yeah. It wouldn't I, be awful to go out with a bad set. I know. Can you uh, imagine, yeah. like, having a shitty fucking set and then <laughs> dropping dead? Uh. On stage right after. Yeah. As the crickets yeah. crick. Yeah. Um, okay, so have what are your what do you want to do that you have? I mean, because I, I think of you as one of these guys. He's funny. He gets you know he creates shit. Like you were on Opie, right? Um, now I like when you were on the Opie show. Yeah, you were you were like kind of right wingy. Who me? Yes. How do you figure? You, because you were the way I boo Trump. <laughs> I felt like uh, I don't know. I felt like well, when, maybe it was just when I was on and you like to fucking tease me. I like to go on to get on. Yeah, your skin. but because yes, you know right it's on you. yes. Shut. I um, let him talk. <laughs> I just want to. I, I don't know. I shook felt her like up. you were, it shook her up. You I, saw that. What? No, I, I have that effect. I know. Yeah, right. I just, it, it, 
I don't know. Whenever I did that show, and like, first of all, the Opie show, he wouldn't have me on. I guess he was afraid of me. I was like, who the fuck is afraid of me? What? And then he finally has me on. Oh, what? Like he didn't used to have you yeah, on? Yeah, he never oh. had me. He's like, oh, I, I was afraid of you. I was like, why? Ew. <laughs> and now he has me on. And then, of course, it gets he gets fired. Um, Coincidence? But... <laughs> Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I, my experience is because cause I used to do a Colin show too. Like I don't oh, care. Yeah, tough I don't. I wrote on that show. Yeah, that was a great show. Yeah. I don't. I don't feel intimidated. Like you know, like I'm supposed to do man cow. Okay. Have you heard of man yeah, cow? Yeah, and, yeah. and they're like, oh, are you okay? I'm like, I, you know, like nothing intimidates me like that. Like right. I don't fucking care. All right. Um, but. The fact that he would say, oh, I'm a f like, what are you talking about? And yet, when I'm on with you, you don't shut the fuck up. But yeah, but see, with Opie, he likes a more demure woman. Right. Yeah. They want, That's like, what he's accustomed to. Right. That's yeah. why he's afraid. Sure. Yeah, but and now plus, he like, loves a boisterous me. woman, too, sometimes could remind him of his mother, who was, you know. Oh, right. What was his mother touch like? touch and go when it came to, you know mental stuff sometimes oh she was yeah he talks about it yeah. okay a boisterous woman is mentally ill is that what you're trying to say that's the name of your album thank you <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> get Netflix on the phone that's right um so you ended up doing the show and then it do yeah. you know why it got well because of that stupid video no because they hated Opie he, the, the, the guys up the hall they they, right. they had an end for him. right and plus it's Howard Stern's network right mm. and he hates Opie Right. He made him wait by the elevators while he walked by on the hallway. He's like, yeah, this your days he, wait, are never wait. here. He made him wait? Yeah, they used to lock the door and make Opie wait by the elevators. Well, of course, one time he said, because he kept saying hello, uh, good morning to Howard Stern in the morning when he walked past each other in the hall. Right. So then they made him wait at the elevator fucking bank while Howard walked by the glass. <laughs> so he couldn't say hello to Howard. <laughs> no way. Yes, way. And Howard a couple times, Opie stupid. taped it. Why? Because Howard didn't like him? Yeah, he hates him. I didn't like him. Hates him. Why, and why does he hate him? The KKK don't like black people. <laughs> Howard Stern hates Opie. <laughs> <laughs> In comparison. Bro. Which one's with the KKK? Hey, good night, folks. <laughs> so, what do you... All right, so you're in your 40s. Yeah. Do you want to have a family? I have a daughter. She's 10 years old. Oh, that's How right. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Was that not any information? It's, thanks, she's all over my mouth. Thanks, Tennessee. Uh, um, and who's anytime. who's the baby mama? Her mother is uh, also a comedian. Um, really? Yeah. Like, can I say? Yeah. What? Well, I was gonna play the video. Oh, go ahead. Play God the video. Damn, I didn't play. Here we go. Go. I was playing. I think it's playing in my head. You know what's really good is dead dead air on your podcast. Yeah, I'll keep talking. All right. So you have bitch. a tenure. What's her name? Asha. Here she is. Right here's a Let picture. Let me say. Why is everything moving so slow in this building? Asha, I know, because don't get off the internet, intranet. Oh, because you're on your Wi-Fi. No, I'm not on the Wi-Fi, but get uh, off and use your... It is terrible in here. You can't get... Because we're All at these buildings play dot shit. Are like... Play dot shit. The, the windows are like bulletproof. There's nothing coming in, nothing oh, going out. out. Okay, so, oh. and who's the mo mother? She's Glees Hawkins. She's a comedian. She oh. was right for... Um, oh, my gosh. Like, she's cute. She's a cutie patootie. So how, she where does she live? So much shit in Jersey City <laughs> about your daughter. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. She loves her so much. Oh my god! You gotta follow. I have more, I have more pics. All right. So you're. So you had a daughter ten years ago. You weren't married. No. And how did your mother feel about that? Loved it. Really? My mother. My mother went. Got her. Yeah. My mother loved it. <laughs> She got so happy, it made me angry. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And I was like, bitch, you double-crossing me. <laughs> you got to follow so the Instagram and how often do you? Of all right, kids. shut up. They're very right. cute. Um, just cute. How often do you see your daughter? All the time. Here's me and my moms. Oh, this shit's moving so slow, I can't. I know. All right, so how, you see her. Do you take her to school? Do yes, you... I picked up from school Friday. We got one go out. We go out after school and fucking hang and go see, you know, Lego Ninja movies. Right. And, yeah, the whole nine yards. And She's she, the best. She's the, I always say that my daughter's the best boss I ever had. Uh, <laughs> and she lives in Jersey City. She lives in Jersey City. That's her and her mom. I mean, me and her mom. Oh, you know, yes. She's, she's very right cute. For, uh, at midnight. Yes. I, yes. That's my family, too. That's all my uh, fam. That's my fam right there. Uh, you better I love be, Khalees. She's about to be on the show. She's hilarious. That's great. On what show? 
Our uh, show? Your show, yeah. That Gosh. better be my show and not the other show. Yeah, it's um, yeah is going to be on the show. Yeah, um, she's very funny. So what are, what are your other goals? Because, you know, uh, look, we're getting old here. Produce. I'm producing a lot of shit. Like what? That's why like I got Judy Small Gold World special? Comedy. Yeah, I'm doing Judy Gold special. Really? No question about it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Who do you, what? Who you know you're going to have to email him about this now. Okay. Yeah. What the comics do you think are fucking funny? Uh, Greg Giraldo, oh, Patrice O'Neill. All the dead ones. All the dead ones, right. <laughs> Kirk Cobain. That's it? Just no, Judy Gold. Okay, thank you. I'll <laughs> get right answer. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. I'm trying to look for more pictures of my daughter on here. I can't believe you have a fucking daughter. Ten years so old, maybe she'll be 11. You're I'm, so she's, mean to women. You wish so I was mean funny. to women. I know, I I'm love the, you. Wait, hold on. I'm the greatest of women. Oh my God, she's so cute. Look at those lips. She is adorable. You look like an asshole in this photo. Well, I look like an asshole in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I guess, I guess the camera catches everything. <laughs> um, do you want her to be a comic? No. no. <laughs> Heavens no. I know. I don't, you know, I don't know. Here's an old picture of me, Rachel, Tony, and Gina Savage when we drove up to Montreal the first year we were in comedy. Okay, we got to put this on the, on the, uh, oh uh -huh. my <laughs> That's Rachel? That's Rachel! That doesn't even look like Rachel! Thank you. She's like a ghost of herself. <laughs> if she was a spirit. Oh my god. She looks completely different. And me and Tone look the what same, do you don't think? we? Yeah, you look exactly the same. But <laughs> here's what I want to know. Ago. What What's different about Rachel? Her hair, her makeup. Oh my god, she looks so Jew face. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a title for this oh episode. Oh my God. We Jesus. have to put this on. Here, take so a picture dumb. of that. That's the best fucking picture. <laughs> How great is that? Um, wow. We she all drove up there because Tone got out of Montreal that year. And then you all just went up with him? And we all went up with him. Me wow. And and even I. though you weren't in? Even though we weren't in. Oh, that's so supportive. We supporting. made it work out. We got up there. Yeah, we support each other like that. Oh, I need a group like that that supports me. <laughs> Anyone? And we drove. Um, <laughs> everyone. All right. So you want to produce? Yeah, I am. What? Do you, all right. Can you tell us what you're and producing? Like the black and white show. I was producing on there. That was right. My, yeah, we wrote, pro, uh, produced it, hosted it. Right. Picked the staff, everything. And I'm gonna do the same thing with you, like live shows and whatnot. I'm doing a hell night show. I did the OP live, hold every OP live. Uh, yeah, before. I never. How about how they're all like, why? I, you know what? But I feel like I don't want to do those shows because they all. Every time I do the OP show, I either have people who they love you, love me, and then I get you fucking cunt. These well, are the texts, I, the uh, tweets I get. You fucking Jew. You kike. You cunt. That comes you with the lesbo. territory. Yes, it's oh, part of it. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's like, do I need? I'm that? sure Sherrod gets some not nice words from them. Do you get any? racist um, from them. Are you for real? From OP? Yeah, I Nobody feel... gets more than me. <laughs> I get Ever. so much. I got, they should have Judy. another Holocaust just for you. <laughs> You're not even close to no, what I that's get. Not, uh, we got a Go deal. to Reddit. <laughs> yeah, Reddit okay. hates So you do a lot. of you. Th they do? Oh, oh yeah. The, the, the oh, evil good. people on there. Oh my God, so cute! You know you're doing so well when Reddit hates so you. So wait, oh so you do, and you also do the. Oh, that um, hair. I gotta do that fucking hair. That yeah. that uh, Fox show. What was it called? Oh, Red Eye. Did Red, Red Eye? Eye. Yes, yeah. Now, oh, that's why you thought it. he was right wing, maybe. No, I did that a few times, and then I said I can't do it anymore. I did. I, can't. I hosted it like. Yeah, 10 you used, times. right. So why? I love going to Fox. You know why? Because I go to the front line of it. Not the fucking everybody right. on MSNBC high fiving each other. Shut up, stupid! Y'all say right. the same stupid shit. Right. I go where and wherever the beef is. That's where I want to be. Right. Wherever the of contact with whatever you think the enemy is, quote unquote. That's right. where I want to be. What do you think? So of, I went on Fox all Fox shows. Do, what do you think of Tom Shalou hosting it? I thought he was good. I like yeah. Shalou. Shalou's a good dude. He's a Republican. Well, yeah, fine. That's fine. Okay. I, my uncle's a Republican. I still got to see the nigga at Thanksgiving. No, I don't. But um, Shalou, me and Shalou hang out. Me and, I got a picture of me, Shalou, his wife, his daughters, and my daughter. Right. Because we hung out for Father's Day like two, right. three years in a row in Central Park. Okay, very He's nice. a Republican, but we still... I know. I mean, I, he says it. he's an independent, but I don't know. Uh, he's a, he's uh, a, I'm independent. Right. Registered independent. But here's the thing. Who cares? I, I don't care. I, I don't care. I a whole bunch of people who are, I don't. Like my, I don't my care family. either. But it's like you. It's like part of me wants to be on the in these shows. I mean, you're very good because you go on these shows and you feel confident. You're like, I want to be here. But the personal attacks and the, 
and it's like it's I have this opinion. Yeah. I have this opinion. It's not because I'm a les. I mean, of course, all my opinions are from my experience in life. Right. But it's like you don't have to call me a dyke and a kike and a Jew and a fucking you know. Well, that's where the bar's at. Sometimes right. With and those, that's just with ignorant those guys. people in the first place. Right. And, just but dummies. It, I don't know. I, I did a I did a show for Fox News uh, years ago in 2001. It was going to be, it, it didn't get picked up. It, we did several episodes, and then okay. because of 9 11, they said we're not doing any fluff shows. And it was, I was the comedian. It was like three of us. And who was the deuce? Uh, wait, there was another guy. There was a woman who, who was one of Fox News people who right. hosted it, and we would do like different topics, you know? Right. Um, you know, what like was, a round table type of thing, right? But it was all like pop culture, right? And I remember there was one where uh, one of the Bush girls got drunk or something, okay. and they're like, "Not doing that story." And then there was another one about Giuliani, not doing that story. And then there was like Clinton fucking, and they're yes, we're doing that. And I was just like, so it was always like that. Yeah, kind of. it was all, and I was just like, you know, I wanted to be on TV, so of course I did the show, and I was the funny one, but. You know, it's just so annoying. It's, they would it's take so it hard. Well, then hopefully you have someone on there that was like, oh, I want to check it. out Judy Gold's stuff. She's really funny. And then they catch right. this and show. Then, but, or, not, but, but how I was on Red Eye when it first began and then how I was on Red Eye in the middle. It was, and it was all right. different. Yeah. It's like I had to pick a part of the wall that they put up. I didn't just chip, right. chip at it. And then before you know it, they're like this. I like what he does. Right. Mm -hmm. So just let him do. That's why they left me alone and let me say what the fuck I wanted What's to. What's the um the other guy? Uh, Greg. Got yeah. Killed? Yeah. He's I love my, him. Like, he does my. Uh, he did my podcast. His too. wife has written asked, some or tweeted <laughs> something mean to me. I think. Really? His wife. Yeah. Have you ever met Greg Gutfeld's wife? Yeah. I Have think you ever so. met his wife? No. I have several times. And she'll tweet some nasty shit at a Jew. Would no. she? <laughs> I'm just going to, she's a nice woman. Right. But. Yeah. Um, That's different. So she's say. different. In what way? Because I like him. Have you ever saw her before? I like him. Have you ever saw, like, you ever put eyes on her before? Like, you ever no. seen? No, she, no. She's nothing what you think he would be with. What do you mean? Like, purple hair. Oh, really? Or green hair, depending on right, how you catch right. her. Right, Like, you don't expect him to be with, like. Uh, with Stan Hope's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Bingo. But bingo. So wait a minute. So why would she? Is she a? Li she's a conservative. And does she say something? About, I think she's from Russia. Oh. Oh, she is. I think. I'm well, not the Republicans love Russian chicks. Yeah. Well, right. who doesn't? You're gonna say anybody I mean, loves Russian chicks. They're especially Russian with green chicks. hair. Right. I don't know why. Look it was deal. something. It was when I was on Red Eye, and then she wrote some fucking. She's kind of kooky. Right. <laughs> Do it again. Kooky. Just kooky. <laughs> With the Russian accent, too. It's about um, a kooky. I have to go to therapy like in a minute. Like, she's different. Oh, okay. She's different and kooky. Um, what? Yeah, we, uh, we ask all our guests. Certain, uh, I don't know why she has it, but. What would she say to you? What'd she say about you? I don't. I don't remember. Anti-Semitic shit. I I don't remember what it was. But sure, it was you a personal. Do. I do, I actually don't. But it was I a remember, personal attack. Yeah, it was. Um, let's see. And this was after you was on Fox. Yeah. Oh, you just like regular. Like, yeah. Let's see. Oh, this. I don't know what her name. Her. I don't know. Um, because sometimes I mute them. Uh, do you mute or do you uh block people on Twitter? I do both. It's a joy. Nice. It's uh, a joy. To I don't block. block. If you block. Really? Oh, I never block. I That's always it. mute. No, I block any box too. I wanted to know. Bye, dummy. Bye, stupid. Yeah, out of my focal point. Do you do, do you block? No, I don't block anybody. I should, but I you don't. don't block anyone. No, nah. Shh. No, I just I let them say I all block the family dumb members, shit. nigga. You Someone know called me a twatty twat twat, like a <laughs> twat licking twat today. I'll retweet that and, shit, and I. Just well, muted bad. them, but I, I guess I should that's just retweet them. No, because I call. I said that Trump should stick a nine iron, or nine, nine iron up his fat ass. Oh wow! And their and, then, and their tweet was aggressive. Yeah, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not looking for a fight. I'm just <laughs> all right. Mind First my of business, all, sticking nine irons up niggas' asses. <laughs> have you ever been to therapy? Yes. Really? Analyst. Yes. And? Like through school, too. Uh, really? They, I broke them. I broke all of them. You're so full <laughs> of shit. I broke them all. 
You're an asshole. How you found out about them, or they found How out too much? How old were you much? when you started? Uh, probably about nine. No way! Why'd you go to therapy at nine? Uh, the school needed it. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you get good grades, but you still want to do what you want to do, people don't know how to. Right. They don't know how to take you. Did do, did so you, you want me to talk to somebody extra? I'll do it. Did you want to go to therapy? Uh, I mean, it got me out of some classes. Oh, that's good. All right, so, so it was great. My mom's right. was like, yeah, go. Who cares? Right. You get to talk stuff out. Yeah, go nice. vent it out. Um, okay. I had a temper. Though. I got, on all, every report card I got, I got mostly A's, but I got, <laughs> has a temper. Oh, I have, do you, st- oh, you don't seem to have a temper, though. Uh, Bad. Uh, what can says be. a reason can be. men could Injustice. come to the house? Injustice, same. Same with Injustice me. Injustice sends me over the edge, nigga. Same. Um, I... Yeah, I, I, do you, have you ever taken any antidepressants? No. I knew it! Not like outside of a party. Right. <laughs> um, but if somebody's holding, nigga, pass, pass that. Right, well you took but your mom's cancer meds. But you're not anti-therapy. Oh, those. You're <laughs> not anti-therapy at all. No, no. Anything you gotta do to talk yourself down, do it. What, has your temper gotten you in a lot of trouble? No. It's got me into some trouble, but and not have a lot. And who has seen your temper? A lot of people. Rachel. I haven't. I has mean, Rachel? Even at the Rachel scene, but defending Rachel. I had to knock this of dude course. out for so fucking a cop. I knocked a cop no out. No way. Yeah, off duty cop at the corner of our block on 75th Street at right. Monk Shots, the bar. You used to call Monk Shots. My boy Derek was the bartender and the manager. Me and Rachel used to go there all the time. We was there with me, Rachel, and Irene, who's one of our friends who right. hang out with us. Monk Shots was, it was a cop like a, bar? Uh, well, was, some cops come through there sometimes. Right. And uh, they was at the back. I didn't know who these dudes were. I was just like, eight dudes playing right. pool so we all sitting at the bar me Rachel and Irene then one of the dudes come over there and start talking shit and he's like I see them he's already bothering them I'm like alright man we good go ahead and play your game right. leave us alone and then he kept talking shit from the pool table I said Derek the bartender manager I was like if this dude come over here I'm knocking him out right <laughs> Derek's like okay sure and then the dude comes over to, goes to Rachel she had like a strap thing on right. and pulls her strap off no way oh I would fucking I hit him, him so hard in his nose his nose Pow, blew open. He fell back on the ground. Beautiful. Derek comes running from behind the bar. These guys come up, the, and his boys was like, yo, what the fuck? I was like, you knew he was drunk. They saw what he was doing. Right, right, right. So I was like, you should have checked him. Now he's on the ground. If y'all niggas don't like it, you're going to get it too. And then it was like, oh, chill. We're all cops. And, right, right, right. And then Derek was like, okay, no. You got to get out. Get him out. He threw all them niggas out. Right. And then blood was everywhere. It was blood on Irene and Rachel. Ew, because it's a head wound. Because his, his nose opened. Yeah. Hey! His nose was like this. Did he wake up? He was on. He was conscious the whole time. Right. But God, like you know. Did, and you didn't get arrested. Not at all. Not at all. Then we fucking had a beer and went home. Walked right up the block home. I was in, I was infuriated. I would have right. killed that dude. Mm. Don't touch her, nigga. Mm. That's horrible. I don't give a fuck if you're a cop or not. So did Rachel have to move out because she wanted a boyfriend? No. Because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. But uh, she was happy to tell dudes to beat at the door. Yeah, okay. Because dudes okay. are getting aggressive. Let me come in. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, beat it, stupid. Uh, me and a wife beat it, eating cereal. Uh, yeah. Out. <laughs> He's oh, having I a love dead that. talk with. <laughs> oh, I need a boyfriend like you. Stop it. But her Shut parents up. always felt safe that it was we were together. Because right. Rachel was a young girl in the city. I, f- I haven't been ra- doing Rachel. From Maryland. Right. Let me just do a few more, uh, yeah. Rachel. <laughs> okay. This is for all the Rachels I missed. So, um, what. Well, I, you kind of answered it, but we ask every every um, guest, what pisses you off the most? Like, what makes you fucking crazy? Just injustice. Just people, you know, not getting what they deserve and right. acting like that's okay. <laughs> right. Like me not getting a Netflix special. Exactly like that. <laughs> so that really pisses you off. It makes me angry. I'm not going right. to lie to you. Right. Fucking Netflix with your fucking bullshit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why he's going to produce it, but right. you got to email yeah. him. So. Yeah. Um, what, like... Example. Well, we just, I guess yeah. we just got an example. Like everything that's happening and has been happening for the last hundred um, years. Do you think Trump will be impeached? No. Really? No. Do you think he'll be reelected? Mm. I hope not. Will he resign? Will he make it to the end? Yeah. Of the four years? I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Just off the him and his physical. <laughs> right. But... Uh, and will Melania make it to the end of the four? <laughs> oh, you the know one. they have a fucking 
uh, some sort of arrangement. <laughs> you know, I did uh, TV with Melania. No, you didn't. Good Morning what? America. Trump fired me on TV. We called Wait. in on Good Morning America. Oh, I got a <laughs> I, story. I'll give please. you the video. I'll give you the video. I'll show you the whole video. So okay. You have to get off. I need to. Um, I need the whole story. Oh, she was. Um, she's great. She gave me some gifts for Marissa for my girl. It's <laughs> cool. Wait, when was this? Last summer. The summer before he got elected. So they, this was when he was so trying to get her out. They let her be, you know, on TV talking and stuff. Right. He called in and was like, Sharon, you're a great comedian, but for this, you're fine. Everybody laughed. I said, I need severance. I'll see you at the house. Uh-huh. Shit like that. Wait, and why were you on that show? What I were did, you promoting? Morning, no, I did Good Morning America every uh, every uh, every week. Oh, that's great. Good for you. It's not good for me because Mike Strahan came through and took all my checks. Oh, that's yeah, why they, that's they worked right. me in to see if a black dude could work on here. Right. <laughs> as soon as I was killing. So I just I just did a morning Damn. show Standing. in Tampa, and the guy's like, huh, I'm so-and-so. And he's like a an ex-football player. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is this? It's now you have to be an ex-football player to be a morning show host? That's the new shit. They coming over here, those fucking Fucks. football monkeys. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> they bug me. Wait, I want to hear the video. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, ready? Well, let me go fast it a little. All right, and can you make it louder? Maybe three. That's your first lady, your president on TV. Right? Oh, she's a friend of hers. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll find this clip and wait. Put it on it the speaker so. on it. Uh, what? What? That's, it's t- we can cut it in. The speaker's on the bottom. What? First thing wait, I do let's is say. attack the weatherman. Oh my God! You look so fat. <laughs> How much weight did you lose? Say, you look good though. You look good with the beard. A baby face. Oh my god, you really know how to work it with all the white women in the audience. Oh god, you're so annoying. He's nodding yes. <laughs> who is that? Who is the host? What's That's, her? Uh, uh, you know, Lara Spencer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like her. Lara Spencer and uh, Josh Elliott. Oh, Josh Elliott's so cute. His father had AIDS and died. He was gay. Go. Oh, really? He's cute. Are there subtitles? Oh, God. Always be your own person. No matter who no you're married to. to. <laughs> Even if you marry a fucking asshole named Donald Trump. He's gonna call He like won that. me fair and square. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's on here. Here we go. Do we have our time for a Well, how are you doing? It's a great show. Ah. Oh. Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Go fuck yourself! Oh, yeah. Donald, it, it, jo- it's Josh here. I'm, I'm just asking you, do, okay, do you side with your, your partner in life or your friend? And I do want to make it clear, I'm asking you. Melania looks scared. Well, yeah, 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 I'm a black man. I tell you that I have a wonderful partner who's always right, 100% of the time. She's never been wrong. Oh, shut up, you fucking lying piece of shit, prostate my fuck. Meaning what my wife, Melania. Mm. Donald's falling right in line with you. No, that's it. That's the guy code. Is just you know, go for maximum applause. Side for the ladies. Ladies, run this. My only question to Donald is, will him and Melania adopt me? (laughs) (laughs) You really know how to fucking. Yes, you're a very talented guy. You're terrific. But Sherrod, for this moment, you're fired. You're so fired, he'll adopt you fucking, but you're fired. fucking asshole. You suck, you dumb shit. <laughs> Let me, let's get a little scoop on the Donald. When you guys get in an argument... This is how you know he's a psychopath. This is his answer. Who does he... Who's does, his go-to does, guy? Does he, does he have a wingman, so to speak? Does he have a guy, a best friend? Uh, argument wingman? Think, uh-oh. Is it, is it Donald no. Jr.? Wow. It's you, no. isn't it? Look, 
Yes, he doesn't have, you know, a guy friend. He's very, you know, independent. Yeah, he has no he's fucking friends because... He would, you know, he would listen himself and he's, he's not, himself. he would call somebody yeah. and say, oh, I need an advice. Does he always no. tell you I need right? an advice? Is that just uh, one piece of advice? Everybody has disagreements. It's normal. He doesn't he's make her normal. speak English. He's not normal, Milani. He's a fucking asshole. He's evil. He's dumb. He's a fucking liar. He's a fuck. It's, it's fine. You know, she knows. I don't mean if you if you marry to somebody, you always need to agree what they say. No. I have my taste. I have my say. Yeah, I bet. I think it's very important that you you tell them the way it is. And long live Russia. This is a very sensitive subject, uh, Donald. I just want to say you're a brilliant man. You are a brilliant man. Fuck you, Josh. <laughs> Donald Trump, everybody. Fuck you, Donald. You suck. You fucking suck. You're dumb. You're fucking evil. You're a fucking asshole. Everyone hates you. You're ruining this country. You have no respect for anyone. You're a misogynist, big, and a racist. Fuck you. No, you go ahead. You just enjoy it. That's what I say. Thank you, Donald. You've got a really nice guest. Have a good time. Thank you, Lara. Thank you, Donald. Thank you, Donald. Thank you, Donald. What'd you say? See you at the house. Uh, God, Dad. See you at the house, Donald. Sherrod, you're very charming. I can't believe you had to fucking do that. It was great. That yeah, was that was awesome. Ago. So, do you have that Melania's email or anything? I do. You do nice. not. Nice. Yeah. And? No, what? Ah! No, do you talk to her? I uh, know, I haven't spoken to her since she. You uh, don't send each other like chain letters and shit? She sent a sweet gift. Oh, What'd nice. she send? Some shit for my girl. Like jewelry? From her, from her stuff, yeah. Wow. I found this wow, in closet. I can't believe I had to hear that fucking asshole's voice <laughs> on the podcast. I hate him. Ah, that was uh, triggering. That's that what was he triggering. was getting already to, you know, make the rounds. Fucking he asshole. was getting already. That's a hate softball. Him. That's that's a great clip. Yeah, that's awesome. That's good. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Sherrod, I can't thank you enough. For I had a ball. I'm glad you're you the best. Me. See? You're the best. I love you. I love you. I always uh, loved you. I know. He's no so matter cute. how much you try to fight it, I always see Shut up. I know. I just, I'm very attracted to you. Um the dough baby what can I'm gonna you, leave uh, anything you need to plug yes yes go ahead Hell Night October 30th baby get the tickets if you ain't got it yet Hell Night 8pm we got uh, Near Death Experiences Dodge and Death a small world comedy presents and we got TJ Miller David Tell uh, Artie Fuqua Artie Lang Keith Robinson you know everybody who almost died recently and we got more coming we got surprises maybe oh. Julia come through yeah I, my I, wife I've is a comic dead. who's almost died recently oh, she's okay. not a comic she's yeah, she not is. a comic how did she almost a die was it she's a at your comic. hands she's not a comic she's not a stand up right. but she does stand up but oh. she's a comic she um what's her is name half of Keith and the girl Femda. her name is Femda. oh I know Keith and the girl yeah, yeah. and uh, she uh, just recently had a football sized tumor removed from her chest so did Kurt well oh, it was a football size right. Kurt tried to do self surgery Kurt Metzger yeah yeah and he went in and trying to take like a cyst or something off his own chest. Turns out he made it worse. It grew to the size of a softball. No way. Yes, I got a picture of that too. Oh god, I he can't. He had to race. They had to do a surgery on him. Take out a big chunk. Fuck. Ugh. We got softballs and footballs floating yeah. around. Okay. What great. the fuck? Hell night. So, but she's good um, now. She's good now. Yeah, she's right. great yeah. now, and she's not a comic. But uh, she's <laughs> very talented. But yes. she's not a comic. Um, if Judy but hell says night, it, October thirty of Comedy Cellar. Go to ComedyCellar.com for your tickets. See. Uh, I, where am I going to be? Uh, uh, I'm going to be at Zany's Rosemont. Or yes. Mount R- have you been to Zany's Rosemont? No, but I've been to Zany's. Whatever. I like the uh, Nashville Zany's, Chicago. Chicago. I'm going to oh, be there uh, the 25th. It's by right by Chicago. Yeah, that's the one I want to go to. The 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. I'm okay, I'm October. There. Yeah. Okay, I'm in uh, October. That's right. I'm in uh, Oakland. You was? I'm in Oakland, uh, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then the 16th of November, t- 17th and 18th, I am at Hilarities in Cleveland. Yeah. And I'm at the Steel Stacks in um, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, I think. Steel on Stacks. The 19th. Whatever. But uh, what about you? I'm Loser. in your butt. Yeah, in I got to take a shit. Shut uh, up. Your butt. Listen, what, you guys what? have been, I can't. It's been fun. I right? love you. I love you back. I you know that more. for life. You can never shake me. You try to shake me. You can't. Um, <laughs> he'll grow back like Kurt Meskers. I wish I could have <laughs> met your mother. I really wish I could have met your me mother. Too. She sounds like a. She would have given you more self esteem. Yeah. She would have definitely loved you. Um, thank you all for listening. And as we always say, so long! And uh, everything was wonderful. I'll see you soon. Thank you for the visit. Hello.